lovies, welcome back to another DIY and I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a DIY on my channel and I'm so excited to just jump back into it. So if you guys can guess from the title of this video, we will be making this blouse here. Now I actually seen the same blouse over at Zara and it was around 40 US dollars and I thought it was fine, I was going to buy it and then I stopped myself and I was like, whoa, you can totally DIY this and you can totally share it with your Slobies. The one reason why I didn't actually buy that top was because it was white and you can see through that whiteness so I was just like let's not do that. Like most of my DIYs I would start out with a general idea of what I want to do with it and then as I start sewing I realized that oh my gosh this thing can be worn multiple ways. At the end of the DIY I'm going to show you guys how I would wear this. I'm actually really excited because I think I have a lot of traveling ahead of me and we're going to go to a lot of like beachy breezy areas so I think this is such a cute little like bohemian beachy top that you can wear as like a cover-up or just with your loved ones. Tell me what you would wear this blouse to. Who you're gonna hang out with, where you're gonna wear it with, and uh, just leave a comment down below because I gotta know. We're gonna go ahead and just grab our scissors and our fabric and let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start out with the pattern and I'm gonna try a new way of teaching you guys how to sew. Um, so bear with me if this kind of seems a little bit funky and let me know down below if you like this style of DIY a lot more than the original style. So first to create the pattern, you're going to need a tank top from your closet. A nice loose fitting one would be the best. There's my pink tank top. I know, I tried. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this tank top in half and then to finish off the pattern, you're going to fold the top half of the tank top down. So what we really need is just the lower armhole, the side seam, the hemline, and the center front. And it's going to look just like this. Now you can go ahead and place this on fold of your fabric and just cut it out so it's going to look like that. And you're going to cut out two of them. So next, with the right sides together, you're just going to place the one piece on top and sew up the side seams. Okay, so once you have sewn the side seams together, go ahead and just flip the blouse inside out and this is what it's going to look like. Okay, for the next pattern, it's going to be the little flouncy part at the top of the blouse. So you can go ahead and cut out a really long rectangle and it's going to be nine inches by four times the width of your shoulder. So measure your shoulder from left to right and take that and times it by four. It might be a little bit shorter, but I think this is pretty good math for now. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and fold that whole rectangle in half and just sew up the one side. And now you're going to flip the rectangle inside out and go ahead and grab your blouse again. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take the rectangle and you're gonna place it right on top, just where the top of the tank is, just like that. And you're gonna go ahead and create a base stitch. So basically a nice loose stitch just right across the top and making sure that it matches up with the blouse underneath. And you're just going to do that to the back side of the blouse as well. And to actually do this, what I like to do is find the seam on the rectangle and I like to line up that seam to the center back of the blouse. And once I do that, I just pin it in place and then I just pin along the edge. Now when you're done pinning the back, um, for the front piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. I just match up the center front to the middle of the rectangle piece. And again, I just keep pinning along the edge. Now we're going to create the casing for the elastic and what you'll do is you're just going to fold down about half an inch. You're going to fold down the center back um, going all the way across to the center front. So you're just going to have one super long casing. So once you're done pinning, you're going to go ahead and sew completely around the top and it's going to create a really nice casing for you. Next, cut out a piece of elastic. I think this one's about 3 8 of an inch in width. So I stick a safety pin at the end of the elastic. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but I hope that this is assumed. When you create a casing, you always leave out a small hole so you can stick the elastic through. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick the safety pin into the hole. And I feed the elastic and safety pin through the casing that was created earlier. 
Once the elastic ends meet up with each other again, just go ahead and sew it. Um, make sure that you do a couple of stitches because there's nothing worse than an elastic popping <laughs> while you're wearing the top. Now go ahead and just stretch it out this way it will equalize the stretch of the elastic so go ahead and just pull it a couple times and obviously hem the bottom of the flounce and the bottom of the blouse. Okay now my favorite part is to how to wear this top and you can obviously wear it like this. I really don't like it because it makes you look a little matronly um, but if you want to totally go for it I think in the cuter fabric it will be totally okay. Um, the second way to wear this is to just wear it off the shoulders. I think it gives you a very cool hippie bohemian vibe and if it's in like a white cotton I think it will just look very angelic in it. And then you can wear it um, just on one shoulder like this and I think it's absolutely cool. And of course the very last way to wear it is as a tube top. So yeah, pretty much the most awesome blocks that you'll ever make in your life. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. I know the structure of this DIY is a little bit different, but I want to know your opinion down below. What do you think of it? Was it more easy to follow? I feel like sometimes when I'm sewing with really large pieces of fabric, it's so hard to see the whole general detail of what I'm doing. And I thought that this was a great way to be like, I don't know, to aid in the sewing community. So let me know what you think about it. If it it kind of sucks like honestly let me know so then I can know what I could improve on in the future but uh, for now I think it was a little bit helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this once again if you are going to try this please 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 please, please send me a photo to any one of my socials because I would love to take a look at it and I would even love to share it with others um, just use the hashtag SLOABN or SLOABN DIY and then I will be able to see it and find it um, for now thank you guys so much for watching the video if you liked the video be sure to actually like it down below share it with everyone that you know and and of course, subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Remember to always rock on slow bees. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hey Slobies, welcome back to my channel and let's talk about my top here. I got this from Forever 21 and I'm really loving it except it's like one of those tops where it just doesn't stay put and you're constantly adjusting it so I have to deal with it for a little bit so please bear with me. Okay so today I am back to do 